Hello guys. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do this. So to do that, I would recommend just warping over to the Nacho Yoi. Nacho, 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 yeah. Nacho, yeah. Try and get your nachos. And then you come out here. After you get your nachos. This is on the Great Sky Island. Right here. And I recommend walking out here. <laughs> you think the nachos is funny? The nachos joke? You're coming over to this ledge. Right over here. Now, if you have a travel medallion, I'd recommend placing it right here so you can always work back here later. If you do not have a travel medallion, what it does is it allows you to teleport wherever you want after you've already gone there and placed one of these things down. If you do not have it, then you can just always just warp back to the Nacho Shrine and then come back out here whenever you need it. So, to do this trick, what you need to do is just jump off the edge, this edge right here. The reason why you want to do this edge is because it's super high up. And then you need to learn how to cancel your dive so you're not your dive animation. You need to cancel that by pressing B and then press Y. Which will then do a sword slash. And you can cancel that by pressing R, which brings back into this dive animation. And then press B to cancel that, and then sword slash. And then just continue to practice this and try to cancel your sword slash as soon as you can. As soon as Link stops, move, stops moving his arm, you know, that's whenever you can sword, that's whenever you can end it. And just get good at getting into this rhythm. So I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back up here. And then I'll show you how to do the trick. Mm -hmm. So, now that you're here, just walk off the edge again and do it. Then, as soon as you unpress the dive animation, the dive button, open up the menu by pressing up on the D-pad, sort it so that you have zone and devices, and drop a wing. And then, as soon as you drop it, press B to cancel your dive, and then do the sword slash again. So, I'm going to do that, and then do that, and then press R as soon as you can, and try to land on the tail of the wing. You do not want to do this, though. Because that will cause you to die, because you hit the wing too hard. You want to land just on the tail, and Link will try to step up onto the tail and go up. So what I like to do is I like to flick my stick back and then flick it back towards. So again, just keep on running off the cliff and canceling it. Drop your wing. That happens very often so you just have to try again get used to it i am still not very good at this doing this strategy why are they So to actually get this trick, you need to, um, I, you need to start diving later than I thought you did. Whenever I first started doing this trick, you need to start diving really late. Like it's for me, it's uncomfortable to do it, and that's just why I keep on failing it because I'm like, I feel like you need to dive now, but you don't. You need to like go back into your dive later than what you feel like, or at least I do. There, I did too late, slightly too late. Too early. But you got it. You just got to keep on ramming your head against the wing until you do finally get it. Something that I realize is you need to, um, in my opinion, the best way to learn how to do something like this is make your own setup. Make, find a, something that works for you that won't work for other people. Find something that, that, that is yours to do, not others, not other people's. Because that's what really helped me the most whenever I first started doing this. There's so many other, two other ways, too many other ways to do this. And I made this one myself. And I could actually do this one. I couldn't do any of the other ones. So I just continued to practice it. So if you guys have it, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave in the comments. And I'll try my best to answer them.